Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are your April 2017 Angel Oracle Card readings. For this month, of course, we are going to be using the Healing Crystal Oracle by Rochelle Sharman. I'll be pulling a card from that deck and using the Archangel Oracle Cards deck by Doreen Virtue. Now, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services page. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I will leave all that information down below. And as far as Gumroad goes, I am skipping the extra readings for this month, but please remember that there are still courses there. There are the 2017 overview videos if you have not seen that yet. So those offerings are still available for you. So let's get started. Hi there, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for you for April 2017. Just tune into your energy here. Okay, just a little bit more maybe. And that should do it right there, I think. All right, so let's see what you have going on. All is well. Well, isn't that nice? <laughs> Finally, we're getting some really good cards here. Brilliant idea. Okay, you'll be able to take care of yourself. That seems to be important for you guys to hear. Remember who you are. Don't let anybody, don't hide your light to, you know what I'm saying? So that other people don't feel jealous of you. You don't have to do that. <laughs> and creative writing comes up as well. So for some of you, if you are in fact writers, that's an awesome card to have come up. For others of you, this is more about finding yourself through journaling and through your creativity. Okay. So let's just start from the beginning here. All is well, Archangel Jeremiah. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand. So this is kind of a funny card because if you have something going on, like let's say you didn't get the house that you wanted or the job or you got turned down by that person that you kind of wanted to date, whatever the case may be, just know that you were protected. Okay, you were absolutely protected. There was going to be something majorly wrong with that house that you wouldn't know what to deal to how to deal with it. Um, that love partner wouldn't have been right for you. That job you would have hated it, right? Uh, so they're saying here, Jeremiah is saying, look back. You know, not only now but look back over your life. How many times have you been protected and release any negativity around events that you previously felt rejected? or what have you. Again, you were never rejected, you were protected. You've heard that one before, right? So uh, again, look look for the um, higher blessing, I guess is kind of what we're saying there with whatever might be occurring. Yeah, and there's they're pointing out there's almost like a vacuum on there. That's typically um, associated with Archangel Michael, but vacuum away the negativity. Don't hang on to it. All right, because something else is trying to break through. Ah. <laughs> Here we go. It's brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel. So something that's truer to your path, truer to who you are, something that you really want to do, it's about to come out. Now, you might not implement it this month, okay? Because I think Mercury is still retrograde this month. But you will um, get the seeds planted and then you'll be able to you know, move forward at a better time, like a little bit later. So it says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. But again, this is just you getting to that place where you're opening yourself up, releasing the negativity so that <laughs> this brilliant idea can be known. Now, again, because we have this, oh, I've got these cards everywhere. Because we have this creative writing card, it could be an idea for a book, an article, you know, something along those lines. But this brilliant idea doesn't come unless you absolutely believe in yourself. So that's what takes us right into this and further into the story to the next card. We have remember who you are and it's Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving and creative child of God. You are very loved, which is to say, whatever your idea is, don't sit there and be like, oh, I don't think I could do that. Oh, I don't think that would be good for me or you know, whatever we tell ourselves, right? Remember who you are. You are very talented. You are capable of co-creating your own existence. Okay. You are of God. You were, you incarnated with the tools to create everything that you want. Okay. So this is asking you to tap back into that power and to not forget everything is in your control for the most part. <laughs> okay. I mean, unless you're going up against somebody else's free will. So then we have creative writing, Archangel Gabriel. So Archangel Gabriel helps with the sacral chakra. I think of Gabriel as helping with the throat chakra as well. Nobody agrees with me, but that's okay. <laughs> but Gabriel helps with your creativity, um, nurturing yourself, the, the emotional body, all that stuff. So this says, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. Again, for some of you, you're taking off with a book idea. 
And yet for others, again, with that emotional body, you know, the sacral chakra, the emotional body, you might be healing through writing. Um, you might be getting some of that anger out or whatever, because it feels like there were some disappointments, not like major. It was just like, oh man, like I really wanted that. Someone bought the car that you wanted or <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, so you're having to kind of like switch gears around whatever just happened. And this can be very cathartic. Okay. So writing in a journal, getting it all out, whatever you need to do, or you might just be dabbling with the idea of a short story or something like that. Maybe you'd never considered that before and some hidden talent could come out, <laughs> all right? But regardless, it's fostering your creativity in any way that you want. It can be writing. Maybe it'll be something else for you. Um, yeah, and just really igniting your co-creative abilities. Okay, all right, and healing your emotional body too. Got it, okay. <laughs> Dap side, Mother Earth. Be very grounded throughout this process, okay? So I'm thinking of that episode of Golden Girls where... <laughs> Um, it was a Blanche. She just decided she was going to be a writer. And so she totally goes overboard. She's completely ungrounded with it, stays up all night and she writes a bunch of crap. Okay. She really does. And she's just ungrounded. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. That's not how you want to do it. Don't run away with yourself. And also, and I think this is saying, stay grounded. Let mother earth detoxify you from any negative emotions and give yourself a chance to heal. This is one of the most beautiful things about mother Gaia. She can help you heal. All right. So for everybody out there, there's a lot of different stuff going on. But oh, and I should point out that this is green heart chakra, healing the heart chakra. There you go. <laughs> so again, it kind of comes down to that. Any sort of disappointment you might have experienced. Let it let it flow away because good things are I feel that like a lot of stuff is just sort of like knocking at the door and it wants to come in for you. But your house is too cluttered, so to speak. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you got to clear out so that you can bring in. All right, guys. So there it is. Have a beautiful month. And of course, I'm sending you so much love. Take care.